uh, to apply the legends and appear as a this meeting is being recorded as a background color but we could also choose to make them as text color instead of background color so what what will change is only where the color is applicable so this is also possible it all depends on what you want but I think the previous one is more user friendly compared to this. But again, it will all depend on your choice, what you think it's, it's more user friendly to you. But that is how you could choose whether to have them as a background color or a text color. And I hope we could also uh, drill down and see so previously we had uh, sorted and drilled down on the poor performing in the, I mean, districts to facilities, but we could also uh, drill down and check even the high performing, performing districts or more or less uh, the facilities. What facilities contribute much to this uh, high performance of vegetable district? So you could also do that. It's more or less the same. It's just that uh, the figures now, there'll be those who are performing well, while previously uh, were those who are performing, were not performing good. So it's more or less uh, the interpretation here, it's the same. With whatever uh, performance, this highest performance that we have under the vegetable uh, district, the contribution comes to all these other facilities except Potato District Hospital because it doesn't have data. So it's not contributing uh, in the good performance of this district. So that also could act as a, a flag. Maybe you would want to question why do they don't have data? If only they're required to report such data. If not, then it's well and good. Of course, in fact, you, if you had found data, you could ask, where is this data coming from? The fact that they're not supposed to, to report EPI data. So yeah, that is how you deal with uh, these legends. And of course, this interpretation is always uh, depending on how you set it up in the system. If you configure red to, to, to reflect poor performance, or sometimes it would be the other way around. So it all depends on what you configure and of course, sometimes on what you analyze. With coverage, we expect uh, to have more coverage in terms of this uh, BCG doses provision and any other EPI uh, dose pro provision. So if you happen to have low figures, that means you are underperforming. But if, if it was uh, the HIV positivity rate, if you, high, if you have high figure, that means it's not a good indication. It means that you need to act, you need to do something so that you could reduce those uh, positivity rate. The lower the figure, the better. The higher the figure, the worse the situation. So the interpretation always depends on what you analyze. So I'll, uh, let me just go and open something else. I'm just trying to retrieve uh, the previous HIV tests. My sub. Okay, so, so since this is served already, I just wanted to introduce Another functionality here, which is the interpretation. I uh, won't talk much about it because it's going to be covered in day eight. But the idea of this interpretation panel here is one, it gives you uh, a summary of this uh, visualization. And by summary, it means it tells you who is the owner, mm. when was it created, if at all it had some updates, when was it updated, how many people are viewing it, and what's the sharing access. And of course, now, if you were to add something now to interpret the data, you would write something. 
if at all you, you have some links to also attach, you could also attach them. And of course, you could even use the emojis, more or less the same, like the ones we use in other social, social medias. You could add in an image. Of course, they're normally used to, to give more for an expression. And you could always tag someone. So for instance, if I see this 12.25% uh, and it's, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good indication that you have lower, lower positivity rate, you could send a message to someone and of course tag maybe a good job or whatever. But the idea of all this is more or less because with data, and if you analyze, you get the information. The information gives you the knowledge. And of course, with the knowledge, it's where now you get to get the action points, what to be done. OK? So that is just an introduction. More will be covered on day eight when you're looking at this whole interpretation framework. So that's it. If there are any questions, I um, would like to welcome. Thank mm -hmm. you.